Hey, my name is Tamasha Hussein, a current undergraduate student at the University of British Columbia. I was born in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the year 1998, and when I tell people where I was born, I realize that I get similar reactions and questions from them. Like, isn't that a country with endless wars and insecurities? Someone asked me to share with them the feeling of being in a country where I don't feel safe. Others would even go more precise, like asking me to share with them the feeling, the story behind my, my country. And others would say, wow, I hear that you have a lot of natural resources back in the Congo. Well, I mostly have one answer to these questions, which is that I actually did not grow up in the Congo. I left the country with my mother and siblings when I was six years old due to unforeseen circumstances. After traveling days and nights looking for refuge, we ended up in Zalika refugee camp in Malawi. So from what I tell my friends, I might have been born in the Congo, yes, but really my story began the moment I stepped in the refugee camp because this is a place that I now call home. It is a place where I trans transitioned from being a child to an adolescent, and it is a place where I experienced all the challenges that had to come with me being a refugee and a girl at the same time. It is also a place where I developed so much passion for education. It is not that I don't remember anything from my home country. I mean, there are some moments in life that cannot be forgotten, no matter how hard one tries. I still remember the day that I left the country, even though I was a child, I still remember the pain of leaving everything behind, my home, my family, and my school. I still remember the pain of leaving my language, the only thing that defined me behind. It felt like I was leaving my identity as a human behind me. Growing up in the refugee camp, I realized that girls must overcome a lot of challenges in order to get the education that they desire. A lot of these obstacles are unimaginable to a lot of people here in Canada, but girls in developing countries, especially refugee camps, overcome a lot of challenges to education that make them lose hope and drop out of school. As a girl, it is expected of you to handle all the household chores and take care of your siblings. Poverty also forces many, of fam many families to choose which of, the, of their children to send to school. And most of the time, you find out that girls miss out on the opportunity to go to school due to the belief that there's less value in educating a girl than a boy. My story was no exception because I had to challenge a lot of challenges in order to, I had to challenge a lot of oppo, um, I had to challenge a lot of opposition in order to stay in school and maintain good grades. I stayed resilient and focused in school because of the WUSC student refugee program. WUSC is a program, is a, is a Canadian nonprofit organization dedicated to improving health, education, employment and empowerment opportunities for youth, women and refugees around the world. The student refugee program is a unique effort involving students, staff and faculty at universities across Canada who work together to mobilize material and human resources in order to enable student refugees to stay in school and complete their post-secondary studies here in Canada. WUSC is a program that gave me hope throughout high school. I learned about this program when I was seven years old in the camp, and my dream has to, was always to work hard in school and get the good grades. And finally, I was like, I will apply for this program and leave the camp for good. And when I was done with high school, I did apply for this program. But the first year, I was not successful. And to be honest, I was really devastated. And I felt like my whole life in terms of education ended there. I, I then applied for the program for the second time. And after some months, I heard that my application was successful. And this to me, gave me the joy and the moment that I waited for, for since I was seven years old. But at the same time, I was concerned about the future of the other applicants that weren't given the opportunity. It is not that they weren't qualified for the spot, but the program is limited in resources that would enable it to support all the refugees that it could. 
I know and I believe that Wuski wishes to support each and every refugee out there. If only they had the resources in it, that would enable them to do so. I decided, I decided to share my story because I know that it is in a way similar to a lot of, to that of uh, many refugee girls out there. The only difference between them and me is that I have a platform like this one to convey my story and be heard. What about them? I believe they have a lot to share with the world, like how much they really need to go to school. The refugee girls are not as hopeless as the media portrays them to be. They are wise and intelligent, if only supported. We are living in a world where over 68.5 million people have been forced away from home, and nearly one person is forcibly displaced every two seconds. Half of these numbers are children under the age of 16. No one becomes a refugee by choice, but the rest of us can have a choice on how we get involved and help. There are countless number of ways to get involved. Just to make a few suggestions, you can start by supporting education and inclusion of refugees in your communities, engaging with your government to support positive policies for refugees. Helping give refugee children and youth an education by donating to the Wuske Sarapi program. For children whose lives have been disrupted like it was in my case, school is often the first place they, stand to, they start to regain a sense of safety, friendship, and normality. No matter their status or wherever they come from, every child has the right to education. Please support refugee girls' education. It begins with us, and I know Canadians and everybody, you guys are good people. If you want to talk more about the WUSC program or just refugee education in general, you can meet me at the booth 760. Thank you.